Hello all, welcome back to Tech Capture. So in previous video, we already seen how we can connect to a Cloud SQL public instance using authorized network. There we added our external IP in authorized network and then we able to connect using a MySQL workbench installed in our local system. Now we'll see the second approach where we'll use a Cloud SQL auth proxy to connect our public Cloud SQL instance and when we are using this Cloud SQL auth proxy, we don't need to add our IP address in authorized network. So before that, first I will quickly see what is a Cloud SQL auth proxy. I don't want to complicate much using a theoretical part here. Just two things to remember how it works. So here you just focus on this line. Cloud SQL auth proxy is used to connect your instance securely without a need of authorized network or configuring SSL. So if you are using auth proxy, you don't need to use authorized network or configure a SSL. That is the baseline of a Cloud SQL auth proxy. Now how it works? So let me show you one diagram here. So whenever you are using a Cloud SQL auth proxy, you have to download this auth proxy's process here. Uh, there is .exe file if you are using the Windows. So you have to download that file and you have to run a Cloud SQL proxy in your local machine. I will do that in a five minutes, so I will first I want to show you this theoretically. So we'll run this Cloud SQL proxy in our local machine and then our application will create a local connection with our proxy client and this proxy client will create a secure tunnel with a Cloud SQL instance and using this tunnel, it will access a Cloud SQL instance securely. Okay, so let's now go to a second page where we'll see how we can connect using a Cloud SQL auth proxy. So here first we have to download this .exe file. So here it mentioned right click and save link as a download and then rename file to Cloud SQL proxy .exe. So I'll just right click save link and I'll mention the same name Cloud SQL auth proxy .exe. Okay. Let me save it. So I'm doing everything in front of you. If we get any error, then we'll troubleshoot that and solve and then we move ahead. Okay. Now we'll see how to start it. To start, this is the command dot cloud SQL proxy, then address. This will be our local 000. It means it's our local system and we'll mention some port. Okay. So we can do it using a PowerShell. Okay. Let me open a PowerShell. We'll just open it in admin mode for separate sites who have better privileges. Okay, so we have to go to download. Okay, so we have to go to users then Lenovo then downloads okay then we have this cloud SQL auth proxy and then we'll use as it is just we have to mention our cloud SQL instance connection name so I'll copy that from console space and I'll copy it from console so our connection name will be this instance connection name. Okay. Now let me enter and you can see the proxy has started successfully and ready for a new connection. So it is listening on port 1234. So let me open a MySQL workbench now. Okay, let me create connection. Now one thing to remember as we created connection in 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0, it will be our local host. So we'll be keeping this local host IP. So this is our local host IP. I'll just give the connection name test and I'll try to connect. So one thing, so we mentioned a port in SQL Protoxy is a 1234. 
so this is listening one one two three four so you have to add this port here so remember this thing one two three four okay and let me now test connection so it is working it is asking for password let me add password okay and successfully made connection now let me connect to database and we'll see if we can access our sales database yeah so earlier I executed few queries and still we can execute that so it is able to access the sales database let me execute select query able to access and here if just to cross verify I'll show you we do not have any IP in authorized network still we are able to connect using a cloud SQL or proxy okay so here you could see there is nothing in our authorized network but this will work if we have this connections open here if I close this or let me close this process and we'll see what will happen okay now I will again database connect to database I will connect again and we'll see if it will work as it's already made connection hope it should work else we have to reconnect again to get that error yeah as it is closed now it is showing no connection established okay so this is local one don't worry about that so we need to open that and keep running our cloud sql auth proxy then when then only we can connect to our cloud sql instance if your cloud sql auth proxy stopped running then your connection will be terminated so if you are using the linux instance then you have to use m percent to keep your cloud sql or proxy running at the background okay so that's the one thing you have to remember hope this is clear to you if you are having any doubt or a question let me know in comment section i will try to answer that so thank you for watching this video